I spent $10,000 on Jason Capital's Course Lords coaching program, mentorship program. And I want to share with you the top 10 things that I've learned from being in his Course Lords program. Now, at the time I joined, I was promoting one of my courses and I was barely making about two to $3,000 a month. And when I saw his advertisement, it was about anyone who has a, co a course, if you're making about $3,000 a month and you want to scale to $10,000 a month and beyond, you know, look into this program. So I decided this was an investment I needed to make in myself. And at the time when I spent the $10,000, it's not money I had. It's not like I had $10,000 sitting in the bank. Here you go. It was a big stretch in my business, but I had been struggling for months and I knew if I, I need to learn from someone who has had success. And if you don't know Jason Capital, he's went on to sell over $75 million of courses in about six or seven different niches. So because of that, I figured he would definitely be someone I can learn from. And I needed to learn and unbreak my patterns. And if I don't know what I don't know, that's the only way I'm going to get to the next level. And coaching and mentorship is one of the best ways and the fastest ways to be able to get results. Now, within weeks of joining this program, I was able to scale up to $12,000 within a 30-day period of my business. And it's because of everything I learned in this program. So I'm going to share with you the top 10 tips in this program, including a bonus one at the end that I really think you're going to like. Tip number one, the pricing strategy. You want to gradually be able to increase your prices as you continue to get better and refine your product. It's just like Tony Stark and Iron Man. He started with his suit and he would continue to learn something. He would learn a lesson and add to his suit to make it better. Many businesses, including myself, struggled with how to price their products because they were worried about losing the most money. But the best way to do it was create the product at a low price, get as many people going with it, find the reps, refine it, and then continue to increase the price as the product gets better and better. This way, it's a win-win for you and for your customers. Tip number two. My mindset shift and teaching strategy. The big thing is to focus on one step at a time so you don't get your customers feeling overwhelmed. Like in Star Wars, Yoda teaches Luke Skywalker little by little one step so that he can build the confidence. You should do the same with your customers. Have your lessons have one simple step so that your customers build confidence and gain, you know, get more comfortable as they continue to progress throughout the course. This helps your customers feel confident and as they're going through the course, they want to stay longer because they feel like they're getting little small wins along the way instead of feeling overwhelmed and end up leaving and never going through the course. Tip number three, customer value metrics. It's super important to track metrics like where your sources of your leads are coming from, but also your client progression. If you don't have data on your course and your progress and your customers, you're not going to know where to be able to scale up and down in your business. Think of the Avengers assembling. Each Avenger has their own superpower. You start with one, you continue to add the next and the next. Captain America is the leader. Then you had Iron Man with his tech skills, Hulk with his strength, Thor with his electric power, and, you know, magicness. Black Widow, Hawkeye, they all have their specialty, which continues to add to the power of the Avengers. Similarly, each customer interaction should help you contribute so you can learn the metrics of the customers that progress and continue to see how it improves. Businesses often ignore KPIs, including myself, but knowing these numbers were able to help you scale up. For example, if I'm running paid ads and I'm running from five different traffic sources, spending the same amount of money, if I find out all my sales are coming from one of my traffic sources, I can turn off the other four and just dump all my money into that one traffic source that's giving me all the sales. But without tracking anything, you wouldn't know. Number four, overcoming objections and sales. Now the big key takeaway is to use social proof and takeaway strategies. If a customer asks you, why should I buy your product? Just don't say because it's the best ever. Just talk about, well, I don't know if this would be a good fit for you, but here's our whole track record. Here's some customer testimonials. Here's our success with our other customers. Here's the success we're having. Use social proof in other people's results to speak for themselves. Also, don't be afraid to ask questions to the customer to find out what's really holding them back. Dive deep so that you can really find out what their objection is. A lot of times it's fear that holds the customer back from buying. So being able to deal with that fear and walk them through it, letting them know you're going to help them succeed helps build trust and overcome that obstacle. Building a sales team was something totally new to me, including bringing on people and helping them learn to sell through the DMs, which is how I was selling when I was selling my course at the time. But training sales reps is like training superheroes through mentorship. Think of Spider-Man. He was mentored by Tony Stark. Your new sales reps are going to need guidance as well. Giving them a good 90 days to get through it and actually building competition between each other help them work better and, and see who can be the better salesperson. A lot of businesses would fail because they would rush the training process of the sales reps, but not give them enough time to develop. Investing time in the reps and going over the sales strategies and, and continuing to guide them and giving them that mentorship is ultimately what would be able to help me help my business scale and grow. And now with my newest system, I'm actually using AI to be able to help close sales for me. 
And if you're interested in having AI help you close sales for your business, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description below. And you can see about my new partner system where we can actually work together using AI to help you make sales in your business. Number six, fast execution. One of my mentors, Jason Wojo, always likes to said, speed to lead. The faster you can get to the lead, the faster you're able to connect with them, the faster and more higher chance you're able to make sales. I believe Alex Homrosi said it was one of the highest metrics. There's some big study. And basically the, the most biggest leverage was the speed to lead. The faster you will get to be able to lead, the higher the chance for sales. And it was like a significant increase in sales versus any other sales metric. It was how fast can you connect to the lead? When I had my sales team, I had someone work in the afternoon and evening shift, but I didn't have someone working throughout the day. And it wasn't a coincidence that most of my sales came in the evening when he was on talking to the leads. And now with my newest system, I'm using AI. So I have someone 24 seven and I don't necessarily need a full sales team. I'm actually able to use AI and continue to increase it and retrain it to handle objections better and to continue to improve on the sales process. Number seven, lead generation through Instagram. We learned about closing sales and generating leads through the through Instagram. You've probably seen it nowadays where everyone's like, comment the word X to get my free whatever, or comment this to get the free book, ebook, or whatever. In the weight loss industry, comment the word diet to get my free diet plan. You know, whatever it is, what this is happening is they're using, they're closing sales in the DMs. They're getting you to comment the word. You're sending an automatic DM using ManyChat. And then you're starting the conversation by giving them the free gift. And then, hey, what made you reach out to ask this? And then you continue to start the conversation of, oh, okay, well, what, what makes you think that? Why would you want to do that? Oh, okay, well, you know, how long have you been struggling with this? And you would start the whole sales process of asking questions. Well, hey, I'm able to help you do this. Would it be cool if I share you a quick video and explaining how we can help you? Oh, yes. Okay, cool. Here's the sales video. Cool. They, they go watch the video and then come back. Oh, okay, great. So what objections do you have? I'm going to handle your objections. I'm going to close the sale right here in the DMs. Conversations are go down in the DMs. That's where most of the sales were made. I was actually able to take the strategy, not just from Instagram, but also to Facebook because I had an email list. I was able to get people over from Facebook and close sales in the Facebook, also using ManyChat. And you can have your sales team using the meta business suites in Facebook and Instagram. And that's what I was able to do to be able to close sales in Facebook and Instagram. Number eight, done for you services as an upsell. Now at the time, I just had a course that taught you how to do everything yourself. The problem is most people will not take the time to learn it or they'll go through it or they realize there's actually so much work in this, but being able to offer a done for you service as a higher ticket upsell and be like, cool, you can learn how to do everything yourself. Here's a course. But instead of that, I can just do it for you for X dollars. A lot of people would take that upsell, no problem. Just go ahead and do it and handle it for me. Number nine, hot button topics for social media. I was able to use some high engaging topics like money, procrastination, work-life balance, relationships, you know, religion, politics, all that kind of stuff. Those are topics people like thrive of. They're generally for or against something that will create more views. People are strongly against that topic. They'll be commenting all the hate which just increases the engagement, which ultimately shows it to more people. So having like a very polar opinion about something and really hitting it in the head, that was able to help get a lot of views on some of my content. And number 10, some psychological sales techniques. Most potential customers felt overwhelmed with the sales process and they felt fear, but having a lot of empathy and being able to talk and ask questions actually helped close a lot of sales. A lot of our prospects, when they were where we're talking them would have a lot of fear or concern or anxiety, or I, I don't have the money or like, what if this doesn't work for me? Finding out what those problems were really helped us solve the problems. And the only way to do that is by asking questions. So a customer will come back and be like, I can't afford the price. Okay. Well, if we could afford, if money wasn't an issue, why would this work for you? And then ask them ask answering that question was essentially selling themselves into the program and be like, okay, well, what if we work with a payment plan or something like that? Then then we can be able to downsell them that way. Another thing was really letting them speak. The less we spoke and the more they spoke, that really helped them close because they were able to feel heard and acknowledging what they heard. If they said, you know, I've tried programs in the past that work for me. And if you all I just said was, okay, yeah, this will work. That doesn't answer the question. Going deeper, finding out what their problem was, acknowledging, oh man, that sucks that you have what you tried didn't work. Well, what was it that you didn't, you tried that didn't work? Why don't you think that program worked? What was it that you did that other people were doing that wasn't making a success for you? Really letting them know and feel heard and acknowledging their problems and then letting them know, well, okay, you had this problem over here. Well, here's how our system is a little different and actually solves that problem really helped open their eyes and be like, okay, that makes sense. Let me join your program. And as a bonus tip, one of the strategies that Jason taught us was the anti-selling strategy. And it's basically not selling 
selling through not selling, <laughs> if that makes sense. It was basically having it in a way where it felt like they were joining something new, something different. And of course, there's a whole formula for how this works. But basically, we would give them, you know, hey, we have a video explain everything. This is new. This is kind of behind the scenes. Watch this video. Let us know they're in or out. And, and talking in a way, in a tonality that's like, hey, here's what we have going on. Just like I'm talking to you right now, like we're having a conversation. It's not like I'm like, oh my God, this is the best program ever. And you're going to make millions of dollars and you have to join this right now. You, or, or you're going to be out. But if you don't join in the next 10 seconds, you're going to miss out. Like that whole strategy was like, whoa, like people build a wall once they see that, when they, they know there's like that urgency, that scarcity, people build a wall. So when you come at them, like, yeah, I'm kind of doing this new thing. You know, it's, it's not for everyone. I don't even know if this will be for you, but you know, it costs X dollars and you know, like, we're going to be working on an XYZ and you should get this result in the next so many weeks, six weeks or whatever. You know, just let me know if you're in or out. This is cool, you know, and uh, and then it, it's a whole different. It's more of a conversation. It's more of a I don't even know if you want to do this, but hey, you can take a look at this thing. It's a whole different tonality. It's a whole different energy. It's a whole different selling strategy. And that strategy is one of the strategies he used to go on to make millions of dollars and what he taught us. And that's what took me from, you know, making about two to $3,000 a month consistently to having multiple months making ten, twelve thousand $12,000 in a month, which was a huge scale. So using these strategies was definitely absolutely helpful. So I hope you got some value from these tips. And if you ever consider doing any kind of mentorship program with any kind of the big gurus, Jason Capital is definitely one I would highly recommend. I don't even know if he does any mentorship programs anymore, but if he ever does in the future, I would absolutely consider rejoining myself into other courses and programs. But if there's other mentors out, people you follow on YouTube or other, you know, influencers on Instagram or other people who you see having success and they have some kind of course or program and you were nervous about joining them, you know, what I've learned is that you don't know what you don't know, meaning you don't know what's keeping you from the next level. And without learning these strategies, I never would have gotten to ten thousand dollars plus a month. And because I know these strategies, I've actually gone less than ten thousand hours a month and gone back to ten thousand hours a month because i know this no one can take away their knowledge once you have it and learning from these experts the connections and not only them the people who join these masterminds some of the friends i've made some of the connections i've made i was able to do other business with and help them with their businesses they're helping me with my business and and a lot of great connections and you know stuff we can always do in the future so if you ever have the chance to join some kind of mentorship or mastermind that you pay what you pay, you pay attention. You know, if this mastermind costs 50 bucks and I join, I probably wouldn't have taken it serious as if I join cost, it cost in $10,000 to be able to join, learn everything I did. And, you know, thankfully I was able to document my journey because at the time I had my own coaching program, I was able to basically share what I was doing with that and really help out. But I wanted to put something public here with, you know, the top 10 tips to really provide some value to the market and help you out. Now, if you're interested in some kind of coaching and mentorship or anything like that, or, or interested in working with me as well, I did just recently open my newest partner system where I'm working with a select few people to really help them grow and scale their business and be able to finally start some having success online with done for you systems. So if you ever wanted to have some kind of done for you system, have some kind of automation with AI and be able to help you make sales at the end of the day, if you're looking to get results, you want to connect with me. If you're interested in that, go ahead and check out the link in the description and it'll take you to all the details and we'll just see if it's a good fit for you. If this is something that might be able to help you out. Now, like I said, when I started, I was making about three, two to $3,000 a month with affiliate marketing and, and selling my own course and products with affiliates as well. But if you have no money coming in from affiliate marketing and you're struggling and you're just brand new to affiliate marketing, you want to make sure you watch this video and how to fix your zero income with affiliate marketing. And I'll see you on that next video.